Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we're going to do a reading for Pisces for six months from now. So, we're just going to see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. And remember, this is six months from the time that you watch it. Okay? So, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have? We're going to get a couple of these first, and then we're going to use this deck right here six months from now six months from now when I'm just gonna read whatever comes out of my mouth like I always do so six months from now for Pisces what do we got let's get one more one okay all right it's over there and there it is Great happiness. Six months from now, great happiness. Bowl. Woo! Plenty of material things. Nothing to worry about, right? Finger. Mm. Warning you of a problem, either now or in the near future. So, this is for six months from now. So... You could be dealing with a problem right now or in the very near future. You know, when somebody points their finger at you, there's usually a problem. There usually is warning you of a problem either now or in the future. But there's really nothing to worry about because you're going to be happy and you're going to have plenty of material things. You may have somebody that is pointing the finger at you, you know, and... You know, giving you a hard time. Maybe they're jealous. Who knows? But, you know, that's life, right? That's life. Anyhow, so yeah, I think you're going to have plenty of material things and you're going to be happy. So let's see what we got here. There is going to be a problem, though. Obviously. Obviously. Somebody's going to be pointing their finger at you. Maybe they want money. Who knows? What do we have for Pisces for six months from now? Ah, Eight of Pentacles reversed. It certainly could be about money. You could be dealing with somebody who needs money. They're pointing their finger at you looking for a handout. Wonderful, huh? Now, the Eight of Pentacles is somebody doesn't put in a lot of effort. Doesn't work very hard. Not very skilled. Doesn't have any get up and go. Ooh. Now, the Seven of Pentacles, is it worth it? Now, this is relocation. Is it, If you could be... Uh, hmm, let me get the rest of these cards first. King of Pentacles. We're going to do my old way. Something is going to be revealed to you. Oh, there's a lot of social pressure. Oh, so we're talking six months from now. A decision is going to be made. Now, this party is over. It is clean up time. You are in a messy situation. So, this is coming out of the mess, relocating. But there's still financial problems with that King of Pentacles reversed. There is somebody here that is squandering money or wasting money. Or there's a loss of financial abundance. Or we, are, we do definitely have somebody that is going to feel disgraced or feeling disgraced. They are, I mean, you get the Hierophant reversed. There's a feeling of disgrace, being under a lot of pressure to own up to some sort of social status, but not getting the work, not, you know, is should I keep doing this? Is this really worth it? It's not really paying off. Something may not be paying off for you. Um, something is going to be revealed with the Moon card reversed very soon. Okay, something is going to be shown. A decision is going to be made with that King of Swords. It's not about how you feel. This is based on the facts. There is some sort of decision and there's going to be a loss of money. And I'm sorry, but there is. With the King of Pentacles reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, just talked about this in the March reading, but we're doing six months from now. This is under a lot of social pressure. 
the Hierophant reverse. This is poor counsel, being controlled by a father figure, somebody questioning their authority. This is a relationship that is no longer on the same page, but somebody may be holding on to the relationship because of social pressure. And this is a relationship that is not happy. So I don't know if somebody is um, getting a divorce or splitting the assets or something like that. And somebody isn't, something isn't turning out in somebody's favor. There's a loss of financial money here. Something didn't grow. Somebody invested in something that they should not have vest, invested in. It's time to go someplace else. Wow. A lot, this is, a lot of this is about money trying to recover money, trying to hold on to your stability. Um, this is about give and take. Somebody made a poor decision. Oh my God. This is all about money. It is all. We definitely have a father figure or a boss or a business owner that made a poor decision. This is a business owner or a boss or a father or somebody in an authoritative position that abused their power. This is an abuse of power. This is somebody who does criminal activity for their own good. Somebody that is power hungry. Somebody that deserts you in the time of need. Somebody that is controlling, entitled, uh, mean, is on the wrong side of the law. This is somebody that is corrupt. Somebody that doesn't take responsibility. Somebody that, uh, you know, thinks they are God's gift. Okay. But they're not, obviously. This is a narcissist. Okay. It is. So, we have an abuse of power here. And this could be a male or a female. We have somebody that has abused their power. And now, they're going to be starting from the bottom again. It's like you're going to be starting over from scratch. Somebody is going to be starting over from scratch. Or this is a new enterprise. I mean, this person doesn't look very happy. This is starting over. Okay, this is at the beginning of the road. This is starting a new job, starting a new business from the beginning. Okay, this is, this is like, this could also be an apology. Okay, this could be an apology, but this is where you find the backbone and you find your ability to not lose track and start over. Setting new goals, laying new foundations, investing, following through even though it's not easy. Now, this month, now this is about give and take the six of pentacles it looks as though we have somebody that has abused their power and now something is going to be taken from them and given to somebody else and and the law could even step in it's almost like the law steps in maybe it's a lawyer or it's a police officer it's like somehow the law gets involved something gets revealed something that somebody some sort of addiction or something like that somebody was trying to do something that was against the law it's like and you know i've said it before i mean i fight authority authority always wins you know it's like authority is winning this one so i feel like we have somebody here that let it get out of hand they let their ego Oh, yeah. So we have somebody that let their ego drive. And their ego drove them into a disaster. <laughs> so you have plenty of material things, right? Great! Awesome! Those material things make you happy, right? Those material things make you happy. They're mirroring each other. Warning! There's a problem coming. And it does have to do with these material things that you have obtained. Not very spiritual. Okay? Having all those things is not all that spiritual. It's not the spiritual path. It, yeah, it may appease society, but it doesn't appease the higher power. Oh, my God. So, Pisces, there is going to be a significant loss here. 
And it has to do with integrity. It has to do with your choices. It has to do with, you know, abuse. It has to do with abuse and social pressure and learning lessons and, and lessons. You know, and I've said this before, the best things in life aren't things. So there is something that is going to be revealed with the moon card reversed. There's been some sort of illusion. Um, somebody's about to get a reality check. They are about to get a reality check. I think that um, in six months from now, things are going to get really, really real. It's going to be real. It's going to be really hard to ignore the fact that you are going to have to let something go because it's going to be taken from you. And I think it's going to happen suddenly because of this two of wands. That's a sudden departure or a sudden return. Somebody sudden, suddenly shows up and, and, and crashes this party. It crashes the whole thing. It crashes, you know, this is this four of wands at the end of a party. It's a big mess. Cleans up, it's clean up time. It's like a demolition kind of thing. Um, it, it's been, it's the, yeah, the, yeah, it was fun, but this honeymoon is over. This, this game is over. This joke is over. This, uh, you know, all these fun and games and you living high on the hog is over. Okay. So, um, you get what you deserve. You reap what you sow. Something about you reap what you sow. Now this is, uh, start, th this is going to be starting from scratch. It is. Somebody's going to be starting on a new journey. It's not going to be easy. And it may include an apology. Somebody may be, you know, but it may, may not. This is a new opportunity. That could lead. It could grow. You may be coming up with a new, you may be even receiving something, a new offer from somebody in six months. In six months, you may receive something from somebody that uh, you're weary, you're weary of taking this opportunity, I would take it if I was you because it could grow. It could grow into something uh, very lucrative. So in six months, you may be offered a new job or something you've never done before. Okay, you may be offered, maybe you get offered to live someplace you've never lived or uh, it's something very spontaneous. You get offered something spontaneous Take it. Take it. It may be scary. It may be, uh, you know, it could be some fear, but you should just do it. Just do it. If you get offered something, you know, and, and it looks like, oh shit, you know, it's a, oh shit, I don't know if I should do it. This could be a lot of work. Yeah, it could be a lot of work, but it could also really pay off. So you may be offered something and you have to think, is it going to, is this going to pay off? Is it going to pay off? If you put your effort into it, yes, it will pay off. If you don't, then it won't. So that the, that'll be your choice. You, you're going to be offered or given an opportunity to start something new. I don't think it's relationship. I don't think it's love. I think it has to do with money. Okay. It has to do with a business proposition or a job or something like that. And I think that you should take it. I think that you should take it. I think that it could really pay off if you put in effort. But then, okay. So here... If you don't put in effort, it's going to be hard work. This is, this is hard work is needed. And this is not put, if you don't want, if you don't want the work, you don't want the work. But this is, if you nurture it, it will grow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So that's just another message that somebody needed to hear. But the four, and, and if this is in regards to a relationship, if a love relationship, this is, this is, this is not on the same page. Jose, okay. This is a relationship that is not on the same page. It's a split. It is. It's a breakup. It's a, it's a split. It's no happiness, no harmony. We're not on the same page. We're at, we're at, we're at different spiritual levels. There's not equal give and take. Um, I'm sorry, but I want to go someplace else. You know, I want to relocate because that is relocation right there. Somebody may be relocating this month. And it may be scary to relocate and leave behind, you know, a partner, even if you're not compatible with them. I, I feel as though there is going to be a decision made because somebody gets a reality check about the truth of a situation because this is a reality check about the truth 
and they just decide to uh, do something. What do they decide to do? Boss up. Take ownership. Follow through. Make a plan. Go after what they want. Now it's in the upright. Take charge of a situation. Somebody is about to take charge. If you are the feminine watching this, you have a, ma a male, a masculine that is coming into the picture. This is this is uh, this is the king of all kings right here. This masculine is it could also be the one making a decision. This masculine could be making the decision, you know, giving you the reality check or offering the job. Somebody's going to get a, a new job offer, a proposition of some sort. That could pay off. But you might have to make the decision on the fly. Like make it very fast. It's like you got to make the decision right now. You don't have time. So I feel as though there's going to be a problem. And it has to do with the boss. Okay. The boss could be pointing the finger. And the boss could be God. Believe it or not. Because God is the highest authority. So it's like the boss is making a decision based on what he has seen. Whatever this decision is, it leads you to a new door. This is an open door. It is. It's a new opportunity to start over someplace else. It gives you, I'm serious, this is a new doorway, a new opportunity that could really grow into something long term and solid if you put in effort. It could be a new relationship. It could be. Or it could be a new work partnership or a new job or a new business or something. But I, I do see somebody bossing up and taking ownership and taking charge of a situation. But I also see some sort of unhappy relationship coming to an end right here it's not working out but this allows you to to give to somebody else right here this is give and take you take from one and give to the other so that is what we have here it's like you you get rid of the the problem and you 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 find your ability to start over so yes, you're going to be starting over. In six months from now, you are going to be, uh, well, what's the word? You take a look at that person's face. You're going to be starting over and it's going to be a little uncomfortable, but you're going to probably do it anyway. It's like, yeah, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. And giving it a try leads to receiving something abundant. It does. But you're going to have to, uh, probably against your better judgment, give it a try. So I think, yeah, I think that you're going to be giving something a try. I think that you have survived something very painful. Because we have the Ten of Swords reversed. That is surviving something. You've survived. You have. So now it's time to get up and, and go wherever it is that you're going. No, no, no longer letting yourself be walked on, right? You've been walked on no more. So, um, something could also be coming back from the dead when you get this card. An old relationship, perhaps? I don't know. But I feel as though there's a decision that is being made. I think it's a final decision. I do. I think somebody has made a plan and, uh... They're about to react on the plan. It's like they, they this is part of the plan. It's part of the it's part of the script. It's part of the plans. So in six months from now, I think that you are going to be reluctantly starting on a new endeavor. And I do think it is reluctant, but I think that you're going to do it, and I think it's going to lead you down a new path that brings you some sort of profit. But in order to go down this road, you're going to have to leave behind some sort. You are going to be leaving behind a relationship or a commitment that is not compatible. And maybe you're doing that in the previous months. 
But I do see relocating for some of you, like packing up and moving. That's a relocation. You've been in a dead situation. You have where it's like dead. So I also feel like there's somebody that has been breaking the law and the law steps in. It's like a judge makes an order and and he makes a judgment because this is a, the emperor can be a judge and so can't this guy. So it's like there's there could somebody could end up being uh, judged. They could end up in court. This could be legal issues. Um, there could be a sudden departure, and somebody could be begging for an apology. Anyway, in six months from now, I think that you need to be aware. Because there is going to be a problem in the near future. You have a lot of material things now. And perhaps there's a higher power that's saying, why you got all that? That's not what life is all about. Why don't you share and open up and give? And it's not about those things. And I don't know if it's you or the person that you're dealing with. But I do feel like we have somebody here that is very selfish and greedy. And they like, they like to have all those finer things. And I mean the finer things are show off. I think we have a show off here that is, you know need some sort of reality check and they're absolutely positively going to get one so Pisces um, you do have a new opportunity that is coming that is going to be presented to you in six months you probably will be reluctant to take it but I would I would take it I with blind faith you know you need to have blind faith just just do it just take the opportunity it could lead to something big it could, could really pay off. Good luck.